GSL became a company back in 1993. Greg was the general manager of a family-owned business called l and Greg has been a machinist his whole life. He started out working in his family business when he was 13 years old. He's always been a firearms enthusiast, so he started toying around with sound suppression back in the mid-80s. He got his first patent when he was, I believe, right around 90, 91, uh, when he designed his own baffle called the Hillicold Design, kind of a spiraling baffle that was produced for belt-fed machine guns. He teamed up with a couple of guys who had an established company, as far as a name went, and they needed somebody who could do the designing and engineering, and therefore they met Greg, and it all kind of formed into one company. For that matter, uh, Greg was president of Gemtech for well over 20 years. I believe that company was formed in 1994. Uh, GSL has always been the manufacturing facility for that product because Greg is the uh, designer and engineer. He's also the patent holder for the majority of the product. GSL was formed here in Jackson, Michigan back in 1993, so this will be our 25th anniversary. We have been in our newest facility now for approximately seven years. This is a 25,000 square foot facility. We have approximately 15 CNC machines, probably another 15, 20 support pieces of equipment. We are rated ISO 9001, 2015. We're one of the few companies in the United States that are, have that rating, they just came available. As far as the suppressor industry go, there's very few companies out there that are ISO rated or even know what ISO rated is. Uh, a lot of companies, they have a garage operation, they have other people manufacturing their parts, they bring them in and assemble them. We are a full-blown machine shop. We do everything in-house. I spent 42 years in the aerospace industry, so I'm well familiar with exotic materials, uh, things that work. Did a lot of engineering for other companies and, and things, and uh, just brought that over into what we're doing now. So now that we're here, we've separated from Gemtech uh, in 2016. We separated from Gemtech, and now we're going on our own as GSL technology. Suppressors are built to not only take away uh, the sound suppression, okay? It's uh, obviously the most important thing. Uh, anytime you listen to a sound above 140 decibels, just the sound from one round being fired, you can actually do permanent hearing damage to your to your ears. It's, it's not reversible. So the suppressors that you put on the weapon are all designed to be under 140 decibels. They do other things. The sound suppressor helps increase your accuracy. Uh, it takes away what is called muzzle flinch. Uh, muzzle flinch is something that a shooter naturally reacts to. Uh, you're expecting that big bang from the gun going off. Well, a suppressor takes that big bang away. It doesn't make a gun silent. Uh, there are multiple sounds that happen from a gun being fired. One of the problems you run into with suppressor manufacturers is everybody wants to run around with DBs. They think that's the most important part of the reduction. If you don't have the reduction and the accuracy, then it's just basically worthless. You might as well wave your hand in the air. It's not gonna do a thing. So we work on accuracy, we work on uh, hearing, we work on uh, tonality, work on construction. Um, that's why we can take our suppressors and give them a full lifetime warranty. The GSL suppressors stand out from the crowd because of some of the really cool features that we have that nobody else has. One of the problems of suppressors that we have actually solved is they come loose from the barrel of a gun. Metal, when it heats up, will start to expand, therefore causing the suppressor to be called walking off of the barrel. Uh, they tend to come loose. If your suppressor comes loose from the barrel, you can get a baffle strike. You could have a catastrophic failure of the suppressor. So Greg has developed what he has called the patented retention system. The retention system has completely eliminated the suppressors from ever coming loose from the weapon, even under full auto fire. That is very important in the law enforcement and military world, and not, a other, not one other company in this world has that, just us. In 96, I did the uh, Bylock patent, and it's one of the few mounts that is able to put the suppressor on one-handed. You can take it on and off without any hands. If it gets hot, you can just shove it in the ground, give it a twist, and it'll come undone. Uh, a lot of suppressor manufacturers out there do not have the ability to take it off after you run a couple hundred rounds through it. It freezes up on the suppressor, and they can't get it off. We are one of the few that can go five, 600 rounds without problem take it on and off just like nothing. It's real effective. We designed it for the police and military market. We have a lot of stuff out in the field right now. We're known worldwide under the Gemtech brand, but now we're going under our own brand right now. So we're trying to get ourselves 
situated in the marketplace so people understand where we came from. One of the things about GSL technology, when we first came into the arena, uh, everybody was using spacers and washers and baffles. They were basically working on volume. Uh, I worked more on control of gases, so we took everything and sized it down basically about half of what they were using in the 90s. Nobody can touch what we do. We're one of the premier manufacturers out there right now. And we also have a lifetime warranty on our products because we know it'll hold up to anything that they're going to put it through. As the process starts, we bring in material, obviously through our loading docks. From that point, that's where the inspection processes start. Everything gets inspected and checked out. When it's done so, paperwork is signed off on, and then the bar stock is, of course, then stored into our storage areas. This is what we call the cell. In the cell, the operators will come over. They'll pick up the material that they need to run particular operations to build the parts. And this is the area that we call behind the red curtain. In this area, this is where all of the suppressors that are welded are born. And we have Tori here that takes care of that. As he gets an order to build the suppressors, they could be anywhere from one to 500 at a time. He'll walk over, he'll pick up the suppressor carts that have all of our parts and pieces on it to build each individual suppressor. He will build the suppressors from start to finish all by hand. Each single one of them is done by hand. He'll start with, as we can caught him right now, he's doing what's called the tacking process. He'll put all the baffles and so forth together. He'll tack them all up. From that point, he's gonna move them into our CNC weld logic. The, the weld logic is a computer controlled TIG welder. And that's kind of where all the magic really starts to happen. For our suppressors, we have a maximum of 10 on our TIR runout. Uh, TIR is basically how straight the suppressor is. Most of Tories will happen to fall anywhere between three and seven. The lower the number, the straighter the suppressor. These are units that have came out of laser engraving. They are here to fill orders. Then each one of them travels around with a, with a job traveler. And this is the end product. Uh, so this is our GT450 Bushmaster, which is a 450 Bushmaster rifle. is extremely popular in Michigan because we can legally hunt with them in the Jackson area. And this is just one of our camo options that you can actually get with the suppressor, but it typically is in just matte black Cerakote finish. Everything we package has everything you need in the box. A lot of suppressor manufacturers, when you purchase your suppressor, you, you know, you've spent $1,000 of your hard-earned money on this suppressor. Well, just to get it home after you've waited eight months from the ATF to get your approval back, you get it home and find out, well, guess what? You don't have a mount in the box because now you gotta go spend another 200 bucks. Well, a lot of manufacturers do that on purpose, and we don't feel that that's right. Anything that you need to take that suppressor home, put it on your weapon, and take your new toy out and play with it, it's gonna be in the box. If it's a QD feature, it'll have the flash hider in the box. If it's a pistol suppressor, it's gonna have the pistons in the box. Anything that's a standard size, that's ready to host your weapons right away. Here in the company, I'm uh, VP of sales. I oversee our sales team, making sure that they're taking care of their our class three dealers, any law enforcement uh, contracts or so forth that we have, and of course also dealing with our military. I'm also the compliance officer here, so I work directly with the ATF um, to make sure that we are manufacturing and staying in compliance with federal rules. These are NFA items. Um, NFA items are a controlled item by the government and they all have serial numbers. Basically what that means is that the government wants to know what's manufactured and where it is at all times. It's my responsibility to make sure that I know where every piece that we manufacture is at all times. I do want to make mention that we do have an open door policy for any law enforcement or military personnel. It's kind of our way of giving back. So if any of you guys would like to stop by, take a tour of the facility, maybe come in and play around in Greg's vault, we'd be happy to have you. 
Everything that GSL engineers is done with the military and law enforcement in mind. Okay? It's our little way of giving back to those who protect us. Our job is to protect them and their hearing. It's happening way too much. I've got law enforcement officers who are having to put in for early retirements, possibly losing their jobs or having to walk away from it completely because they've fired weapons so much in their training, it's just they're losing too much hearing. That's unacceptable. One of the things that we do is we like to support the local police department. We've uh, furnished suppressors and things to our uh, city police. They use them uh, in their training. They also use it in drug addiction. Uh, when they have a drug bust or something, they go in with our suppressed weapons. So we like to make sure that they're taken care of. They take care of us. They watch over us pretty good. We need anything. We give them a call and we, we, work, we work hand in hand. So anytime we can support the local guys, we try to.